Hey everyone! In today's video, I will walk you through all the new features in Dash 1.9.3, including the brand new Dash Marketplace, support for individual asset purchases, the integration of Decagon, CR Division, and MBN CG, with more asset providers in the works, and various tool updates. So let's jump right in. From Dash 1.9.3, you can now browse and buy individual assets from high quality vendors directly through the Dash Content Browser. And to start off, Decagon is our first seller. So, when you open the new Decagon tab by clicking this new Marketplace button, you can start scrolling to thousands of individual high-quality Decagon assets, which means you can now buy individual assets instead of buying large, expensive asset packs. As the new Marketplace is part of the Dash Content Browser, this also means that the free Content Browser license we introduced a while back of course also gives you access to this Marketplace. So, even if you are not interested in using the paid Dash tools, you will be able to browse and use this Decagon Marketplace for free. When you find some assets you like, select them and then press the Add Selected to Cart button here. You will then see how many assets you have in your cart and the total price up here on top. Once you are happy with your cart, you can press the Purchase button, which will open the License Selection window and here you can choose between four licenses. When you adjust the license tier, you will see how your total costs adjust accordingly. When you then press the Confirm button, the actual purchase card will open in your web browser and here you can pay with your preferred payment method and even save your details to make your next purchase smoother. When you have completed the purchase in the web browser, you can go back to Dash and your assets are now being downloaded automatically. To only view your owned assets, you can use this little filter icon in the top right and from this view, you can simply drag and drop your assets or scatter them just as with any other assets from the Dash Content Browser. I can easily mask out the grass underneath the ball using the Dash Proximity Mask tool. Moving back to the browsing experience, there's a couple of things I wanted to highlight. You can expand the left panel of the Content Browser to view the folder list of Decagon, including their seasons and respective subfolders. And you can double-click any asset to open the details panel which includes more thumbnails, asset information, the prices of each license tier, and so on. All Decagon assets have search tags, so it's incredibly easy to search in this library to find what you need. So let's use some Decagon assets and build a quick environment. Let's also use the Dash Wine tool on this shack. And I can easily adjust the materials of the Decagon assets using the Dash Edit Material tool. And let's give the boat a snowy surface in seconds. The next seller we are planning to onboard to the Dash Marketplace is Sierra Division but they have actually been kind enough to provide us with one of their libraries and offer that for free to our users for a limited time. So let's switch from the Decagon tab to the CR Division tab and here get the assets from the Explorer's Room pack for zero cost. I quickly set up this entire space using those assets. The next new addition in Dash 1.9.3 is the fact that we have integrated the free Ambient CG library into the Dash Content Browser. So now you can browse, download and use all of their free textures, atlases and HDRIs super easily through the Dash Content Browser. So let's download a few textures and drop a blend material on this road surface. Thank you. 
you can simply hit the download icon here. Once completed, just select three textures while holding down Ctrl and drag them onto the surface. Choose Apply Blend Material. Let's drop a few decals as well. And with Dash, we can also scatter atlases in seconds. And thanks to Dash, we can drag and drop HDRIs into our scene easily. From now on, you can adjust individual scatter sizes directly in the scatter table for surface scatters. Another tool that has gotten a major upgrade is our Mesh Convex Hull tool. This tool lets you create and control convex hull around your static meshes and your scattered instances. Perfect for controlling the collisions for your upcoming game project. Simply open it from the search bar, assign a scatter instance, adjust your settings such as count and height, and hit compute. Then, when you go into play mode, you can see that these now stop my character from running too many meshes. Once you're happy with your settings, you can enable the hide option to avoid seeing the convex holes. And that's it for today. This release did not come with too many new features, but the ability to easily buy and use individual Decacon assets instead of having to buy large expensive packs is awesome. And of course, several important bugs have also been fixed, so your Dash experience shall now be even better. And don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel to see future releases with new tools and asset sellers and awesome videos going through all the tools available in Dash. See you in the next one, bye bye.